Imagine a reality where the lines of your physical form blur, where the very meaning of self completely changes. What if everything you've been taught about your existence is just a carefully crafted illusion? What if you're not truly inside your body, trapped within the limits of flesh and bone? From the moment you became aware, you've always believed that your thoughts, your memories, your true self reside within the intricate folds of your brain. You've accepted the idea that your consciousness is a product of neural activity, a complex symphony of electrical impulses inside your skull. But what if the truth is far more magical, far deeper than you can even imagine? What if scientific explanations only scratch the surface of a much larger, more interconnected reality? What if your consciousness isn't inside your body at all, not limited to the physical realm, not bound by the boundaries of your skin? Instead, you are a receiver, a spark of divine energy, a soul that resonates with the universe, tuning into the infinite cosmic symphony that surrounds us. Are we merely conduits, vessels for a consciousness that exists beyond our physical existence? Science has made incredible strides in mapping the intricate workings of the brain. We can trace neural pathways, identify specialized regions, and even decode some of the brain's electrical signals. We know how neurons fire, how they communicate, and how these interactions give rise to complex behaviors. But despite all this progress, science still can't answer one of the most fundamental and perplexing questions of existence. A question that has bothered philosophers and scientists for centuries, how does mere matter, the physical substance of the brain, give rise to subjective experience? How does this awareness come about, a rich tapestry of emotions, sensations and thoughts that make up our inner world? This is the hard problem of consciousness. You can scan every part of the brain, analyze its structure, and monitor its activity with the most advanced technology, but you'll never find you in those scans. You won't find the source of your consciousness, the essence of your being, neatly tucked away in any particular region. You are not just the sum of your thoughts, not an endless stream of mental chatter that dominates your mind. You are not just the firing of your neurons, not the complex electrochemical processes that underpin your brain's activity. You are something else, something more profound. You are the observer, the witness, a silent presence that is aware of all this. You are the one who experiences thoughts, emotions, sensations, without being defined or limited by them. When people have near-death experiences, their brain flatlines, yet they remember vivid journeys, floating, seeing their body, feeling love beyond words. There are thousands of such cases. Science cannot explain them, but the soul remembers. Across the vast expanse of time, spanning continents and cultures, mystics, sages and yogis have echoed a profound truth. They've whispered it in sacred texts, chanted it in ancient rituals, and embodied it in their lives. This truth, though expressed in countless ways, resonates with a singular unifying essence. They say consciousness is not merely a product of the brain, not a fleeting spark within the confines of our skull. It is not limited to grey matter and neural pathways. Instead, it resides in a far deeper and more expansive realm. The heart, the heart, not just as a physical organ, but as the seat of intuition, compassion, and the deepest knowing. It is not confined to a single organ or even a single being. It permeates every cell of our body, a vibrant, pulsating energy that animates our existence. It is the life force that flows through us, connecting us to something far greater than ourselves. It is, in essence, the universe itself expressing itself through us, as us. This universal consciousness is the ground of all beings, the source from which all things arise and to which all things return. It is the silent witness, the unchanging reality behind the shifting forms of the world. In the ancient wisdom tradition of Vedanta, this all-pervading consciousness is revered and called Chaitanya, the eternal witness, the pure awareness that underlies all experience. It is the unchanging reality that observes the dance of creation, without judgment or attachment. In the teachings of Buddhism, this same fundamental reality is known as pure awareness. 
the unconditioned mind that is free from all thoughts, emotions and perceptions. It is the state of being fully present, fully awake and fully alive. And within the mystical tradition of Kabbalah, it is called Ein Sof, the infinite light, the boundless source of all creation, the unmanifest potential from which all things arise. It is the ultimate mystery, the source of all wonder and awe. So remember that your body is not just a physical form, but a sacred temple, a vessel for the divine. And within that temple your heart is the altar of awareness, the place where you can connect with the infinite source of all beings. Open your heart and let the light of consciousness shine, illuminating your life and the world around you. Embrace the wisdom of the ancients and discover the boundless potential that resides within you. Some scientists now believe that consciousness might be a field, just like gravity or magnetism. It's not created by the brain, but accessed by it, like a radio tuning into a cosmic station. You are not in your body. Your body is in you. So, where is consciousness? It's not in your brain. It's not in any one place. It's everywhere you are. In your thoughts, in your breath, in love, in silence, in the eyes of someone who truly sees you. Consciousness is not a place. It is presence. Next time you close your eyes, don't look for consciousness in your mind. Feel it in the space between your thoughts. Feel it where you begin. Subscribe, share, comment and hit the bell icon for more such awe-inspiring videos.